the Hasselblad X-Pen. In my opinion, one of the greatest street photography cameras ever. It's not mine, though I wish it was. This one's a rental. And it's going to be my companion on this short trip. The thing about the X-Pen is that it's just too darn expensive. Too many YouTube videos about them, too many people wanting them. Like most every other film camera, they aren't being manufactured anymore. Um, our kids are now going to start working things are going to speed up. This copy came from a unique rental company called Film Objective. Film Objective does things a bit different. You can only rent analog from them, and the rentals come a month at a time. This trip marks the end of my month with the X-Pen, and I have to say I'm really sad I have to send it back. But since I only have a few more hours with it on this short trip, I have to make the most of it, and that means airport shots. On this trip, I'm shooting with Ultrafine Extreme 400. It's the cheapest film in the States, and that comes in handy with the X-Pan's panoramic aspect ratio, which keeps you burning through frames at twice the normal rate. The photos on this trip aren't going to win me any awards. When I do a video like this, I really enjoy the challenge of having to come up with a series of photos I'm not ashamed to show when given a very limited time to produce them. In this case, these photos were from a total of four hours of shooting. I actually don't have a whole lot to say about the X-Pan itself. Is it a good camera? Yes. Seems pretty tough, not a bad shooting experience, fairly quiet shutter, high quality lenses and all that. But that isn't why you buy the X-Pan. You buy it because it's really the only viable option for high quality panoramic street photography. And for that, it doesn't disappoint. There are other panoramic options for the 35mm film shooter, but the X-Pan may be the only one that will give you nearly distortion-free photos. Aside from maybe some slight vignetting, it's remarkable to me what high-quality panoramic shots the X-Pan can deliver. Now, there's a lot that makes this camera great for street photography. The most obvious is that the panoramic field of view lends itself well to the context of the street. It's a challenge to work with something that shoots this wide. It's hard enough to keep a composition clean and tidy with a typical street photographer's focal range, but with the 1 to 3 aspect ratio and a 45mm lens, it feels like it's more often about what you choose not to take. But I like that. It's creative constraints that keep me inspired and keep me shooting. While the X-Pan as a camera may not be the greatest shooting experience ever, I find the framing up of panoramic scenes to be an invigorating and rewarding experience. And while it's not the smallest or stealthiest street photographer's camera, the one thing I really love about it is grabbing candid shots on the streets. By framing subjects to one side or the other, to their eyes, you are shooting past them. People seem to assume you are shooting something else and ignore you. I want to be clear that I don't mind people knowing when I'm photographing them. I think it's often better for everyone when you gain permission or aren't trying to be sneaky and get away with something. But on the other hand, when a subject becomes aware of you photographing them, it can sometimes ruin the moment you were hoping to capture. By placing a subject at the edge, the X-Pen gives you a way around this. Another thing I love about shooting panoramic is the challenge of trying to get two scenes in one. In these shots you can see I really tried to divide the scene in half, one side being bright, the other dark. This could be a really cool series, maybe someday when I can afford it. It's also fun to capture architecture with this camera, though without in OVF level indicator, shooting handheld can be really challenging to get straight shots. I clearly need a lot of practice in this area.
Like all good things, my short rendezvous with the X-Pan is now over. It's time to send it back for someone else to appreciate its beauty. I would like to again thank Film Objective for making this camera available for those of us who just wouldn't get a chance to shoot with it otherwise. And I hope you'll go check them out and support what they're doing. You'll find a link to them in the description. Long live film. I'll see you again real soon.